Hey guys, my name is Billy, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Visual Studio Publish functionality to deploy to Azure App Service. And this is a continuation of my last video where I showed you how to set up an app service, how to create a project on Azure DevOps, and how to configure your local Visual Studio to do the deployments. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is open your Visual Studio. We're going to create a new uh, ASP.NET Core web app. I'm going to go ASP.NET Core example app. Okay, we're going to need to just create that and we're going to choose a MVC, just a simple one, just so we have some kind of uh, UI to, to see. If you already have an existing app, you can obviously just deploy that rather than just creating a new one. Okay, we're going to close this and we're going to just do a little build. Okay, once it's done building, I'm just going to run it real quick just so we can kind of um, take a look at what we should be expecting in uh, Azure. Okay, running. Okay, perfect. So we'll just see a page and it'll say welcome and it'll have a cookie summary. Close that. And let's actually publish now. So it's very simple. You right click on your project and you go publish. And because I've already set everything up in the last video, I can do select existing. If you haven't, you can obviously click uh, create new. I'm going to go select existing and publish. Once it loads, it'll load my um, credentials and it'll load my services that I have. Okay. Perfect. Subscription loaded and then my app service loaded. So this is the one I created from the last video. So I'm just going to click this. I'm going to click OK. And in the output fold here, you can see that it's going to slowly show you that it's going to um, build bundle and then actually send the files out to Azure. And as soon as it's done, um, we'll have it like launch automatically like this. Perfect. Um, and once it's deployed like this, um, I can actually show you app here. This is the actual app service that's running. Okay, so we're going to now make a quick little change and then republish just to kind of show you the workflow of how that would happen. Close that, this down, and I'm going to uh, it will add a little modification. So instead of saying welcome, I'm going to say welcome and I'm going to return a string from the connection string or from the app settings. I'm going to add i configuration. I'm going to resolve that namespace. Do this. And then we're going to add in the app settings, we're going to add a message to return to ourselves. So we're going to add a message. And I guess we'll say from local since we are in our local environment. Save that. And then we're going to add that to the view bag so we can have it in our view. Duration, get values, string. And we're going to get our message. Perfect. Okay, then we're going to add that to our index. And at you bag. Perfect. So that's a simple modification. So as soon as we deploy, we should see our our Azure app update to say from local here watch the progress so this is a great way to get started on azure 2 um it's low friction and you can see like i i got this started in maybe like 30 seconds once we actually create it so yeah you can see it from local so i will also show you guys how to modify the connection string so the app service actually has app settings so when you add something here it will actually override the one you have in your app settings here this one right here so now I'm going to say from production, click save and that's updated. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to restart it since I modified the app settings. As soon as that is updated, then it should say from production now. And keep in mind that the first time you load an app as your app grows is going to take longer. So uh performance might be slow on the first time but then after subsequent uh requests will be faster so see from production i hope you guys enjoyed this really quick tutorial on how to use visual studio uh right click and publish 
In the next video, I'm going to actually show you how to use the Azure DevOps pipeline to deploy this in a more continuous integration, continuous deployment manner. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want more content. I'll see you next time.